Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we teach real life American English. Today we're going to talk about some common mistakes that we need to avoid. Let's get started. First, let's start with the expression highway robbery. We cannot say this. And overall, it was a highway robbery. The expression highway robbery is not countable. We cannot say a highway robbery. Normally, the word robbery is countable. I can say one robbery and two robberies, but highway robbery is an expression, and we do not say a. Example, it was highway robbery. You can use the expression highway robbery when someone charges you too much, when someone overcharges you. You can say it was highway robbery. Example, they charged $50 for parking. $50 for parking? That's highway robbery. Let's practice. They charged $50 for parking. Is that highway robbery? That's right, that's highway robbery. Remember, no uh. Our next one, sounds. Sounds correct or sounds correctly. And they can tell you whether it sounds correctly. That's right, it's not correct to say sounds correctly. Because sounds is a special action. When you talk about senses like sounds, tastes, smells, we cannot use li. You cannot use the adverb form correctly. You have to use the adjective form correct. So it sounds correct. It looks correct. Remember, all the senses don't use adverb correctly. Use the adjective correct. It sounds correct. It looks correct. What do you think? Does that sound correct to you? That sounds correct to me. Very good. Next, let's talk about worst. So this is not correct. Oh my God, we just came back from a worst vacation. That's right, we cannot say a worst vacation. Worst is a superlative, like best. And for superlatives like worst and best, we have to say the. The best or the worst. Remember, we have the adjective bad, the description bad. If you compare worse, this restaurant is worse than that restaurant, or number one bad, the absolute worst, the worst restaurant, number one bad of all the restaurants, the worst. The worst restaurant, the worst vacation. Example, I think McDonald's is the worst restaurant. What do you think? Is McDonald's the worst restaurant? Very good. Let's talk about this word. This word has two pronunciations. You cannot say this. And the new hotel had a very nice ambiance. That's right. You cannot say ambiance. You can say ambiance or ambience. It has two pronunciations. Ambiance or ambience. We use this word when we talk about the feeling of a place. How a place feels. If the place feels happy, if the place feels good, we say it has a good ambiance. Ambiance is countable, so we have to say a. Uh. It has a good ambiance. Let's practice. What do you think about the place? Does it have a good ambiance? That's right, it has a good ambiance. Let's talk about these words. Natives versus native speakers. Is there a difference? Yes, there is. 
So it's not correct to say this. I can kind of talk to natives 24-7 and ask them questions. If I don't understand what a word means, I can ask natives. If I don't understand how to use a particular word in the sentence, I will ask natives on this app. That's right. Natives are Native Americans or indigenous people to a place like the United States or America. Native Americans are the indigenous people. And native speakers are people who learn the language from birth. I am a native speaker because I learned English when I was a child. It's my first language. So I'm a native speaker, but I am not a native. A native is an indigenous person. Example, a lot of natives live in Oklahoma. A lot of indigenous people, Native Americans, live in Oklahoma. Let's practice. Do a lot of natives live in Oklahoma? That's right. A lot of natives live in Oklahoma. Let's look at the pronunciation of this word. Modern. Modern. So it's not correct to say this. They're modern and cool. That's right. We cannot say modern. More. It's not the long O, more. It's the short O, ah, like hot, and stop. Ah, ah, ma, modern, modern, modern. Example, this is a modern design, modern. This is a modern design. Let's practice. Is this a modern design? That's right. This is a modern design. Let's talk about called. It's not correct to say this. How's the app called? I want to check it out. That's right. We cannot use how with the action called. I cannot say how's the app called. So how do you say it? We have to use the question word what. What's the app called? So let's look at the question. What is contraction? What's what's the app called? Or what is the app called? A more common question is what is it? What is contraction? What's what's it called? Use it as a substitution for any object. What's it called? What's it called? Remember, we cannot say, how is it called? We have to use the question word, what, if you have the verb called. What is it called? If I ask you the question, what's it called? And you don't know, you say, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it is. It is contraction, it's. What it's called. Pronunciation, when you link the words, what it's, the T changes to a D and you hear what it's, what it's, what it's called. I don't know what it's called. So question, what is it called? You answer, I don't know what it's called. Let's practice. What is it called? That's right. I don't know what it's called. Let's see some more pronunciation. This is not correct. We cannot say oven. I can't turn on the oven. We use the short sound like cup and up. We say uh, uh, relax sound. Uh, oven, oven, oven. Example, he's cooking bread in the oven. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he cooking bread in the oven? That's right. He's cooking bread in the oven. Let's hear some more pronunciation. They can tell you whether this word is actually used or not. We cannot say not. We use the short sound ah like hot and stop. The short ah sound. Not. Not. The correct pronunciation is not. Use a stop T at the end and a short O, not. 
let's talk about the pronunciation of this word gonna. Remember, this is not correct. And then they're gonna walk you through all of the different features that the app has. That's right. You cannot say they gonna. They gonna. Gonna is a reduction of going to. And because going is a continuous action, we need the action are. They are going to. They are, contraction, there. It's a small sound, but it's very important to make that R sound. There, there. They're going to, or with the reduction, they're gonna. They're gonna call me later. Not they gonna call me later, but they're gonna call me later. Like I said, it's a small sound, but it's very important to make that R sound for the contraction, they are, together, they're, they're gonna. So again, they're gonna call me, they're gonna call me later. Not they gonna call me, but they're gonna call me. Er, er, they're. They're gonna call me later. Let's practice. Are they gonna call you later? That's right. They're gonna call me later. So, if you want to learn to speak English correctly with correct American pronunciation, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.